kind of few games getting out of reach or in a tough spot. But when they start upping their shot attempts, they start getting more aggressive. A record that's been as good as anybody the last decade in the playoffs. He's won two championships, two finals MVPs in 2014 with the Spurs and two years ago with the Raptors. But later than the Clippers bowed out to Denver as Doncic hits a runner. In the second round last year, the Clippers led 3-1, lost that series in seven, so a lot of pressure on the Clippers to bounce back here in the 2021 postseason. Reggie Jackson being defended by Jalen Brunson, who was hurt last year, didn't play in the bubble for the Mavericks. Leonard Kawhi J, 11 points for Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard is locked in. This man has just been focused from the start of this game. Knocking out inside shots, being aggressive, being offensive rebounds. And look at Luka, for a little Luka Magic early. Just toying with the Clippers after he got that offensive rebound. So that's 12 points, four rebounds, and four assists in the first quarter for Dallas. George working against Billy Smith. Yeah, he's got to be more aggressive. Here's a pocket on this, the good part of the season due to a back injury, but he played the last two games of the regular season. He has more playoff experience than anybody on this Clipper roster. That includes Kawhi Leonard. Here's Doncic to Kleba. And Kleba not close. Minute to go in the first quarter. Five-point Dallas lead. Jackson driving. Tough shot. Jackson gets it to go off the window. And, and look, the versatility and the depth of this Los Angeles Clipper team. Patrick Beverly gets two fouls, and you just bring him in with Reggie Jackson. He can score at ease when he gets going. Clippers have scored in 10 of their last 11 possessions. Now on the switch, Ibaka's got Doncic. Luka blows by him. The recovery by Ibaka to get the block. Shot clock at two. Brunson has to hoist it, gets it away. No good, but he's fouled. So bailed out by a foul. As the shot clock expired, he'll go to the line for two. And sometimes these errant plays can just cause a little bit of frantic movement, not only just for, for the offense, but the defense there. Paul George trying to stay out of the way, but there was no choice but Brunson to pull up and pop up really quickly to try and beat the shot clock. Way to stop on a dime and drop out on Paul George. And George was in the landing area of Brunson, his first foul. Runs a third year on the Villanova, won two championships in college. Take a look at today's star matchup brought to you by Modelo. Neither Doncic nor Leonard have disappointed here in the first quarter. 12 for Luka, four rebounds, four assists. He was sixth in the league in scoring during the regular year, fifth in assists. While Leonard, 11 points, he averaged 25 points per game during the season. gets both. Abs by five, a 12 second difference in the clocks here at the end of the first. Rondo is on the floor for the Clippers playing his 122nd career playoff game. A two time champ including last year with the Lakers. Not a smart foul there by Cleveland bumping Kawhi Leonard that will send Leonard to the line. And, and when you think about the Dallas Mavericks, you know that their offense is can fire. They have all the offensive weapons you'll ever need, top 10 in the NBA, but where they struggle is on defense. So, you know, for the Clippers, they got to clean up some of the defensive mistakes that were made early on. And one stat that we saw that's mind-blowing, the Dallas Mavericks are 27 and 0 when they lead after the first quarter. Now, nah, that's the regular season and this is the postseason, but ultimately, when they get going and they get, off, get their offense going early, they feel a lot better as the game progresses. So you got to kind of slow down their offense and pick up your defense if you're the Clippers. So they've won a lot of first quarters, but they haven't won a lot of game ones. In fact, it's been 10 years. Well, first of all, it's been 10 years since they won a series, back when they won the championship in 2011. It's also the last time they won a game one, and it wasn't even in the finals. It was in 
the round prior to that. So we are talking about six straight game ones. There was, no, there was nobody on this team 10 years ago. So we can't reference that exactly. Now, there was a bunch of guys on the team last year, but even then, they were the underdogs versus this Clippers, so they weren't expected to. You're just solid because you were part of one of those game one losses when you were on the mound. Maybe so. Maybe. I don't know why you're bringing that up either. Six to shoot. Here's Brunson being defended by Leonard, but two on the switch. Tough shot off the window. And it's tipped in, but they're going to wave it off here. Basket interference against Carly Stein with 2.5 seconds left. Rick Carlisle looking to see if they should review it. Ooh, let's see. Oh, that was coming off. Turnover. Brunson has a shot. But comes up empty for midcourt. 